Hey, what's going on? Good morning. This is King of the United States coming at you. Um, man, diving in real quick, man. Just, I don't want to take up too much of your time today. Um, actually, yesterday on my fan page, um, I was actually, uh, I broke out this book <clears throat> yesterday uh, that I wanted to read. And it's mainly because I just, I had actually just gotten all my books back from uh, out of storage up in Atlanta. And um, what, I, what I wanted to do was, um, kind of go through this book. It was actually, it's actually called, uh, No Excuses on Doing It. Enjoy Jim Rare from there. Uh, really, really great book. Um, I enjoyed it when I read it. I read it about seven, eight years ago, and I still remember a lot of the details from it, because I do, I, t I took, like, cliff notes from it, and I do, uh, I do go back and reference them from time to time. But anyway, anyway, this morning, um, right about, like, two or three o'clock this morning, I was up doing some national mining and some game planning, and, um, I was actually uh, engaged in some heavy meditation, and I don't know, something just came over me to take take another look back to uh, Thinking Day, which I was actually listening to the audiobook, The 48 Laws of Power, um, and then a question came to me, a question came to me, and I was really wondering, like, hmm, I was really wondering... I was really wondering, like, why aren't you rich yet, dude? And then I sat and I thought about it for, like, a good 30 minutes. Like, why am I not rich? You know what I mean? And, and based off that, I went, walked into, into my, my office and I saw the book thing and did it. So something just, just, just grabbed me, grabbed me by, by the collar. Because it made me think of a conversation I had with a friend of mine who's a billionaire. And um, he actually accredited most of his success to reading this book. So... Uh, and reading it, not just reading it, but reading it uh, over a hundred times. And that inspired me to really dig into this book quite a bit. And that's why I'm revisiting it now again, because there's there's a lot of power within this book. Uh, most recently, I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I was actually able to apply this um, a, few, a few months back where I actually had a month where I made over $20,000 um, simply by following. There is a, and I'm going to get to this again in the book. I don't remember exactly where it's at in the book at this time, but there is a actual like mission statement in the book that I literally took word for word and I just plugged in my information in there. And um, it took, it was about a six or seven month process, but one month I had made $10,000. And then I think it was like the month after I did the statement and I started to follow the the, the rules behind it, I had made, I had my, I had a $10,000 month. And then uh, about four months after that, I had a $20,000 and um and that was literally because of the principles uh, behind that and I kind of lost I kind of lost focus and forgot about it I guess over the last uh some time now and I'm, I'm glad that I'm getting to revisit it and go back to it again so um I want to just share with you my thoughts on you know the opening chapter of the book I just finished finished reading it a little while ago um and I think uh it's uh it's it's great it's a great place to start simply because this has been on my mind, on and off over there, is actually wanting to get this tattooed on my arm. <clears throat> Excuse me, real quick. I'm gonna reply to the baby, baby cakes, baby cakes. <laughs> I haven't read it, but but I will based off of the subtitles. Um, whoops. Let's do this. That's definitely oh, one hundred. <laughs> So, yeah, reading this book again, um, great place to start where it says think and grow rich. You got to ask yourself and you got to wonder, is it possible to think and grow rich? You know what I mean? Um, like I just was just telling you a while ago, think and grow rich. I actually had um, numerous instances, as a matter of fact, where I actually, uh, I actually, I actually had, um, multiple occasions where I was where I was able to think think my way in the in the in the money <clears throat> to actually think my way into situations to actually think think my way into having you know the things that I wanted in my life and some of the excuse me that's my daughter in the background 
um, two and a half wheeler by Deanna. So you might hear her uh, doing some Goo Goo Gaga's in the, uh, on and off. She's watching like a PBS kid or something. But anyways, um, yeah, I've seen quite a bit of uh, of uh, successes and failures from from principles that I learned in in this book, and I think it's now now's a great time to um to take it back to to the basics and really help not just myself but help you that's viewing this to understand why and how it is possible that things are great. I mean, when you think about it. Um, the opening chapter, it, it talks about thoughts becoming things, right? When you look at somebody like, uh, for instance, Benjamin Franklin or uh, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, these guys, these are, these are people that, or Thomas Edison even, these are people that had crazy ideas that were in their minds and they, they didn't give up until they actually made it a reality. And the power of the light bill, light bulb, and the power of electricity, the power of the V8 motor with the retaining cord, they just stayed persistent and they had a, a hot burning desire. Um, and that's what opened the door for them to begin to see success. And I mean, I definitely understand that uh, quite a bit because of the way my life is right now, because of the things that I have, because of this, the choices I choose to make, and the desire that I've had for quite some time right now actually made a, uh, a recent dream become a reality um launching a company a few weeks ago which was something that i've actually been focused on for the last six years now and it's finally you know it's finally be becoming a reality so i can definitely understand how a thought can become a thing and if you have a hot burning desire behind something there's no reason why you shouldn't uh be able to to succeed having a hot burning desire I don't know why this is shrinking every time. Uh, <coughs> why this is shrinking every time I type, but I think it's I guess that's probably why. Anyway, so you yeah, have a hot, what a hot burning desire, and also you have to know exactly what it is you want. And this is gonna be. I'm just gonna title this chapter one. So yeah, you gotta know exactly what you want, and you gotta stay. You have to stay, stay focused, stay focused, and and uh, be persistent, and be resilient. Because I can tell you, there's times when you're gonna fail. You're gonna have challenges. You're gonna have. I think I said spell. Where you're gonna have challenges. You're gonna have. Um, be resilient. Anyway. Be resilient. Uh, I'm not sure how to spell it. Resilient. I would say that too hard. I'm not gonna. Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta know, you gotta understand that getting from point A to point B, you're gonna have challenges in the road. It's just like if you hop in your car and you're driving from Miami to New York, you're gonna have challenges. You're gonna have to get gas. You're gonna have to stop. Get off the road. Get off your path. Get out of your comfort zone. Go to a gas station. Maybe take a, you know, use the restroom. Um, get food that you probably wouldn't normally eat. You gotta get out of your comfort zone a little bit so that you can get to your destination. And once you understand that there's gonna be challenges in the road, there's gonna be ups and downs. There's gonna be, you know, you're gonna fail a few times before you hit success. Um, as long as you don't give up and you stay focused on your dreams, success is sure to come. Success is it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? It's something that uh, I can tell you from my personal experience. When I was 16 years old, I was actually graduating high school. And it was in June, as a matter of fact, and I was sitting down with, my, with one of my older brothers, and I was sitting there, and I didn't know what I was going to do with my life, and I, uh, and this was 15 years ago, and, and I, I had no idea what I was going to do, what, what I wanted to do, or, or nothing, you know what I mean? I just said to myself that I wanted, by the time I'm 26, I wanted to have my adult life to be the way my kid, my childhood, my teenage years were, where I was just free, I didn't have any any worries, I didn't have to worry about paying my bills, I didn't have to... I didn't know how I was going to do it, but that's just something that I always said that I wanted when I was 16. And then I joined the Army at 17, and uh, I did 10 years in the Army. I got out of the Army, and while I was in there, you know, I, I had a lot of great experiences, both in business, both in personal, both in my military career, and I had a lot of bad experiences in all three of them. And, uh, and I'll tell you that it's I'm grateful for those experiences because it's made me better than the person I was when I was 16, and it made me understand that, you know, uh, there's going to be tough times that you got to face and you got to be able to grow through them. That's why it says think and grow rich. You know, you got to think it and, and you have to grow through those challenges. You have to grow to become a better person. 
so that when you become rich, when you become wealthy, and you have the life that you want, you can appreciate it, you can actually contribute to society and give others, and be able to help them to do the same thing and pass on such a, a valuable uh, gift of knowledge. And um, one of my goals when I was in the military was I didn't want to have to work for anybody ever again. I didn't know how I was going to do it. And I'll tell you now, with applying some of the principles that I learned in this book and many others, um, it's been about two and a half years now since my daughter's been born. I haven't had a job and I had, I had not had to work for anybody. Um, I've been able to travel. I've been able to do things that I never thought I'd, I'd do before that are awesome, that are fun, that are exciting. You know, I have a band now with, with my wife and I. We have a band that, that we play music together, which I never thought I'd be doing something like this. Um, and, you know, just being able to be a stay-at-home dad, being a full-time husband, full-time dad, full-time business owner, uh, full-time marketer, full-time steel gun player, full, you know, whatever I want to do, whatever I want to do. I'm actually in college right now, finishing up my, my uh, a bachelor's degree, oh, my master's degree, sorry. Um, and in music, you know, it's something that I'm passionate about, and that's I'm grateful for this opportunity to be able to do these things and not have to worry about paying my bills anymore or worry about uh, how I'm going to eat or take care of my family or what, I, or what have you. And it's fun. It's a lot of fun. So you definitely can think and grow rich and think and have the lifestyle that you want. So, you know, uh, with that said, man, that's pretty much a wrap-up of my thoughts and, you know, some of the points that I drew from the opening chapter of Think and Grow Rich. Tomorrow I'll, I'll be breaking down Chapter 2. I'm going to go through that one. Um, and we're going to talk a lot about desire. Desire is the title of chapter two, so stay tuned. If you haven't read the book yet, I urge you to read it. If not, um, I'll see if I can probably send you a, an ebook copy of it um, so that we can go through it together so that you can kind of un understand what I'm talking about. Because I'm not really, I don't want to spoil the book for you and give you everything word for word verbatim. I want to give you um, my personal experiences from challenges, from how, what, what I took away from this book, how this book's helping me, and I want you to see me get from where I am right now to where I want to be in the next 6 to 12 months, you know what I mean? And I'd love to be able to see you take that journey with me, um, and for us to bounce ideas and meet each other and, and hang out and, and train people and build products and, you know, create create ideas and maybe do something that changes the internet or trans changes the world or transforms the way, you know, something's done. I don't know. It could be something great, but anyway, uh, my name's Lee Anandis, man. Um, when you get an opportunity, if you want to check out what I'm all about, you can come over to, to you can check out my bad stuff at what my wife and I do. It's um, kltcmusic.com. Um, <clears throat> not sure. I think that that site might be having some issues, so I'll just send you right over to our Facebook fan page just in case. Actually, that should take you to our Facebook. Yeah, that should take you to our Facebook. Let me see. Let me just verify that before I just give you a so I'll give you the correct information. <coughs> Oops, that's wrong. Wrong one there. Ha. Get my domain name wrong. <laughs> Funny guy. Anyway, so boom, that'll take you over to where it does it take you. Yeah, it does take So just enter your email. <coughs> First name, get instant access. It'll take you over to our fan page. This is just, I just have it set up so I can send you all of our updates and you can, you can, you can stay in and out with us. Um, yeah, this is my wife and I here in St. John in the Virgin Islands after a gig we played uh, a few months ago, I think. Um, but yeah, just stay, stay in touch with us. This is what we're about. We're musicians. Um, and then you can also come over to, um, uh, you can go over and get free music, man. Go to soundcloud.kltcmusic.com. There's a free music, free music that's going to be on our upcoming albums. Um, on there, go ahead and check it out. Check out our stuff. Let us know what you think. We'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, support it. You know, and if you guys think it's cool, support it. If not, hey, it's all good too. <clears throat> it's not for everybody, and I understand that. Um, and if you got any questions, you want to stay in touch with me, rep respond to the email that you saw, or you can go. You can just send me an email at kingleonitis at kingleonitisonline.com. I'll be more than happy to respond to you. Oops, I'll be more than happy to respond to you. Any questions that you might have about whatever um and just vibe or whatever so um with that said man i'm gonna close this video out um see you guys in my next one stay tuned make sure that you are watching all my videos and i know i know we've probably had